Belkin has recently teamed up with Marvel to release a Spider-Man Athene 45 Watt Gun Charger. The design draws inspiration from the red and black elements of Spider-Man's iconic suit, and the charger itself is compact with smooth contours, giving it a distinctive and recognizable appearance. The front of the packaging displays the Belkin and Marvel logos, the product name, a product image, and key selling points. The back of the packaging also features key selling points along with additional product information. The package includes the charger itself, a user manual, a warranty card, and related documentation. It incorporates the red and black elements of Spider-Man's suit in its design. The charger has a compact, rounded form factor that gives it a high level of visual distinctiveness. The front features the Marvel logo paired with a comic-style Spider-Man graphic. The back displays the specifications. Model, WCA013YZ. Input, 100 to 240 volts alternating current, 50 to 60 hertz, 1 ampere. Output, 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 12 volts 3 amps, 15 volts 3 amps, 20 volts 2.25 amps. PPS, 5 to 16 volts 2.8 amps. The product is certified with CCC. It is also certified with level 6 energy efficiency. It comes with foldable prongs. The top features a USB-C port, above which Belkin and 45 Watt are printed. The length of the charger is about 39.52 mm, 1.56 inches. The width is about 34.92 mm, 1.37 inches. The thickness is about 34.85 mm, 1.37 inches. This shows a size comparison with the Apple 40 Watt dynamic charger. That's how big it is in the hand. The weight is about 57 grams, 2.011 ounces. Charger Lab Power ZKM003C shows that it supports QC 3.0, FCP, SCP, AFC, PD 3.0, PPS, QC 4+, DCP, and Apple 2.4A charging protocols. It features 5 fixed PDOs of 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 12 volts 3 amps, 15 volts 3 amps, and 20 volts 2.25 amps. It also has one set PPS, which is 5 to 16 volts 3 amps. Use it to charge the iPhone 17 Pro, the charging power is about 30.79 watts. Next, let's take it apart to see its internal components and structure. Open the input end casing, which is joined using ultrasonic welding. The input section uses a contact-based electrical design, with the prongs secured by a black plastic plate and screws. The interior of the charger is heavily filled with white adhesive, keeping the PCBA module securely in place. The length of the PCBA module is about 34.66 mm, 1.36 inches. The width is about 30.22 mm, 1.19 inches. The thickness is about 27.51 mm, 1.083 inches. The gap between the capacitor and transformer is filled with gray thermal paste, and the USB-C socket is reinforced with a steel sleeve. At the bottom, there is a plastic plate that isolates the primary and secondary circuits. Remove the plastic plate. Thermal pads are seen at the bridge rectifier and synchronous rectifier. Cleaning away the gray and white adhesive. This side of the PCB reveals an NTC thermistor, a common mode choke, high voltage filter capacitors, and a Y capacitor. On the other side, there is a transformer, a synchronous rectifier controller, and a solid capacitor for output filtering. On the back side, there are an SMD fuse, a bridge rectifier, a primary controller, a primary MOSFET, an optocoupler, a synchronous rectifier, and a protocol chip. The SMD fuse is rated for 3.15 amps. The NTC thermistor is used to suppress inrush current during power on. The common mode choke is used to filter out EMI interference. The bridge rectifier is from diodes, model MB30TM. The high voltage electrolytic capacitor is from AIS High. It is rated at 400 volts, 27 microfarads. The other one is also from AIS High. It is rated at 400 volts, 39 microfarads. The I shaped inductor is covered with heat shrink tubing for insulation and protection. The primary controller chip is marked RAAL03 and packaged in ASOT23 6. The primary MOSFET is from Alpower, model APNE70 or 200K. It is a 700 volt enhancement mode gone FET with a 10 ampere current rating and normally off characteristics. Its typical on resistance is below 200 milliohms, at VGS equals 6 volts, 
which helps significantly reduce conduction losses. This MOSFET is suitable for applications such as a CDC converters, DC-DC converters, totem pole PFC circuits, and high-density power modules. The capacitor supplying power to the primary controller chip is from AISI, rated at 100 volts, 4.7 microfarads. Close-up of the transformer. The optocoupler is from Everlight, model EL3H7, and is used for output voltage feedback. The blue Y capacitor is from STE. The synchronous rectifier controller is marked LAAM04 and comes in ASOT23-6 package. The synchronous rectifier is also from Alpower, model APG077N01G. It is an NMOS with a voltage rating of 100 volts and an on resistance of 6.2 milliohms, packaged in PDFN 5x6. The solid capacitor for output filtering is from Barrel, rated at 25 volts, 680 microfarads. The protocol chip is from Injuinic, model IP2723T. This chip is certified by the USBIF for PD3.0 in PPS, TID, 3135, and integrates multiple protocols for USB output ports. It supports fast charging protocols including USB Type-C DFP, PD2.0-3.0, PPS, HVDCP QC4, QC4+, QC3.0-2.0, FCP, SCP, FC, MTKP plus 2.0-1.1, Apple 2.4A, VC 1.2, and Samsung 2.0A. It provides a complete Type-C solution for one-way output applications such as adapters and car chargers. The IP2723T features high integration and rich functionality, requiring minimal external components, effectively reducing overall solution size and lowering BOM cost. The output V-Bus MOSFET is from Alpower, model AP30H80Q. It is an NMOS with a voltage rating of 30 volts and an on resistance of 4.1 milliohms, packaged in PDFN 3x3. Close-up of the USB-C socket. Well, those are all components of the Belkin Boost Charge 45 Watt Gone Wall Charger, Spider-Man Limited Edition.